here's what we have. We're going to find out whether that Audi S3 is worth over the RS3, which is about in Canada, about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars more. Now, here's a little secret. This is fully stock all the way through. That is tuned. And I'm going to have uh, Andre, who is the owner of the S3, tell me a little bit more about the car. As I said, this is uh, from a different owner. Uh, special thanks goes to TJ for allowing me to drive this. And most importantly, today we are at Toronto Motorsport Park in KU, Ontario, Canada. And special thanks for this also goes to Julia, who is our flag man today. Thank you, Julia. I appreciate your help. Brilliant. Now, Andre, talk to me about your car. Tell me what have you done and what was the cost of doing all that tune and what kind of horsepower you have. Hi, Sam. First off, thanks for having me so much on the show. Uh, my car has a Unitronic Stage 2 ECU and ECU tune. It also has a uh, CTS turbo downpipe, Unitronics cold air carbon fiber intake, and a resonator delete. Uh, all in, we're looking at uh, just under $4,000. That's four thousand dollars Canadian, correct? Canadian dollars, yes. And you make four hundred and three horsepower and three eighty four torque. That's correct, yes. So that technically makes, in terms of horsepower, exactly the same as this car, the RS three. That's right. We're we're pretty apples to apples in terms of uh, what's on the paper. Okay, so this RS3 has a five-cylinder, of course, the turbocharged engine. Meanwhile, you have a four-cylinder turbocharged engine. It's a two-liter, correct? That's correct, yeah, the two-liter turbo, four-cylinder. And both cars, they're quattro all-wheel drive. Yep. Okay, sir, so thank you so much for the explanation. I appreciate you coming in today. Um, just wanted to confirm everything for everyone. So the first thing we're going to do uh, once I find the driving mode in the RS3, we're going to do in uh, auto mode. Do you have auto mode in yours? Sorry, let's do comfort mode. Yeah, I'm in comfort mode right now and uh, the transmission is in uh, normal uh, drive transmission. You know what I love about this comparison is because we have the same driving modes and most importantly the same type of drive train in terms of sport or drive. It's going to be super close, can't wait. Okay, so I'm ready. Mine is in drive mode as well, comfort, as if you're daily kind of thing, and find out which one is the faster out of the two. I am good to go. Julia, thank you so much. Go. Ah, oh, come on, Audi! This car does not like boost in normal mode. He got me on it because he had a better takeoff, but I am inching in. Okay, so again, we're gonna do it in comfort mode, but mine, as I said, doesn't like in comfort mode, you get no boost at all, so I'm gonna figure out a different way. I'm good to go. Ready when you are, yep. Yeah, you see, better take off this time because the first one I could boost and I got him on this one, but he's very close. Like you can't say it's an absolute win and 200 kilometers an hour. Jesus Christ. This Audi, it is bloody quick.
going to be exciting. Okay, sir, we're gonna do it in dynamic mode, traction on. Uh, we're gonna do it in automatic mode. Uh, if you wanna put the transmission in, uh, sorry, transmission in drive mode. Um, sorry, transmission in sport mode. Transmission in sport mode, the car in, in dynamic mode. We're gonna do 50 kilometers an hour. The second cones, once your front end touches that line, you hammer it, but make sure you're right beside me. Any questions? No, oh, got it. When I tell you, so basically dynamic mode, Transmission in sport mode, automatic mode, of course. Uh, second cone, so you have the first yellow cone, the second one, once your front end touches that line, you hammer it, okay? Sounds good. Okay, one, two, three, and let's roll.
here is the problem with this car. It doesn't like a manual transmission as much. Nonetheless, we can safely assume, and I think you will agree with me on this, your car is fast. Not as fast than this as this in some scenarios because it's hard to try to point one thing like there's like driver mod a little bit like you don't get the same takeoff and all that but overall you're right beside the rs3 i'm very impressed with that car thank you yeah i think it's, it's so close like no matter what people decide on if they went with an s3 tuned or an rs3 you know what i think people are going to be happy regardless I couldn't agree more with that. Like that's absolutely right. Like thank you so much for coming today, Andre. It was a blast. That car it's pretty quick for a four cylinder and tuned. And for the money that you pay for the tune, that's quite impressive. I'm very impressed. Thanks again, man. Well, that was it, guys. So here's the thing. The last take, uh, the last uh, takeoff we did, it was just like the Audi couldn't build as much boost. It's trying to get the right boost in this car. That's the problem. Um, but nonetheless, in automatic mode, this thing just it's faster it's not like extremely fast compared to the uh, s3 uh, like in terms of like it's quick but not extremely a lot quicker than the audi s3 it's quick when you need it but there is a, definitely a difference there and you feel that push in this car pretty hard um it's just it's a bit like tricky and it's a bit moody this car to try to find a perfect place when you take off but nonetheless as you saw like this is fast the last run was just like this car wasn't taking off as, as much as i wanted to and it was just like struggling at first and he had a better takeoff that's pretty much it with that in mind thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this one